there's one very important mechanism needs to be implementing a router that's called the buffer management. We'll need it in the input port as well as output port. Now the reason that we need it in the input port is this, when the switching fabric is slower than the input port rates combined, the packets coming in really fast, then these packets might need to be queued temporarily in the buffer. That's why we see queuing delay when the buffer is full, yeah, packet get dropped. So the queuing strategy and the dropping policy, as well as how much buffer we should allocate yeah, to this input port, those things are all part of the buffer management, which we'll talk more about okay, in the next few slides. But before that, let's talk about this very special kind of queuing delay. It's called the HOL blocking. Okay. Now let's focus on the scenario. Okay. It's easier to understand that way. So this router here I'm illustrating has output port contention. So this is one special type of router. What it means there is each output port okay, can only draw in one packet at a time. So this red port here is only taking in red packet and it can only take in one red packet at a time. Similarly for the blue port taking in blue packets, green port taking in green packets. Now, the input ports, there are three of them. Input port number one here has a red packet at the front. Input port three here also has a red packet at the front. Now, this is what? A output port contention based router. So we can only pick one of these okay, to accept into the output port. Let's assume this one goes through and this one gets blocked. Okay. One packet time later, you see this red packet arriving at the output port. That's why we see the red packet here. This blue packet arrives at the blue port. That's why we see the blue packet here. But this one stays. Therefore, one packet time later, this red packet stays. But if you consider this case where the green packet is at the front and the red packet is in the back, then we could have what? One packet time later, the red packet blue packet as well as the green packets, all three of them move to the output port. So instead of receiving only two, we could have three packets through. Isn't that better? Yes. So green packet in this scenario here, it gets blocked unnecessarily when they can really be moving forward. Okay, so that is called the head of line blocking. Green packet here experiencing a head of line blocking head of line queuing because yeah other packets such as the green one is blocked by uh, the red packet at the front okay and somehow the output port is not accepting multiple packets coming in at a time on the other hand if you have a router that implements the not output port contention uh, mechanism then we could have what yeah input port one input port three both have red packets they can now all go uh, to the red output port. So one packet time later, you see two of them here. Okay? And the blue one will also go one, uh, one packet time later. Okay? And the next cycle, then you see green, the next one in line in input port one goes to the green port. And the red packet here goes to the red port. Okay? So HOL blocking only occur in the output port contention type of router. So that was the divergence. Speaking of this very special type of queuing, what my experience. Now let's come back to buffer management. Okay. We need also buffer management at the output port. Okay. And this is because the arrival rate through the fabric could exceed the output line speed. Right. So switch here super fast, such as a non-output port contention router usually the packet can come in real quick we could have red 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 here then who all of a sudden we get three red packets coming in and if the line speed here is so yeah the buffer actually queued up real quick it gets full real quick so delay also gets long and you might also have packet loss and the buffer here also needs to be managed Buffer management in the input port and output ports are the same, so let's just talk about the output port side. 
So what I'm drawing here is the detail of the output port. So yeah, it looks very much like the input port except it's being mirrored. So we do have this one here. Yeah, this is where the buffer space is and packet get queued up here. Okay. And this component is doing the link layer protocol. And therefore this one here, although called line termination, but this is where also the physical layer is implemented. Now let's focus on yeah, buffer management here. So buffering is required because the data could be coming in faster than the pace they'll be going now. Right? So when that occurs, we could yeah, draw packets when there's not enough buffer space. So what's critical here is to decide how much space to member uh, to how much space to allocate to the buffer. And in case we need to drop a packet. Uh, do we always drop the incoming one or maybe we pick one of those packets existing here? Okay, Because that seems to be a bit fair, right? Because uh, the packets get queued up here could be coming from one flow. So the later flow, if we drop you know, uh, from within the queue, then it will be more fair to the later traffic. Second issue is this. Yeah, so the packets will be drawn out of the queue and get onto the outgoing link. Which one do we pick? Okay. One could actually start from the first one, but one can also pick one uh, of the packets seems to be more important and pass it out further. So, yeah, perhaps you could have some sort of priority-based mechanism so that the packets can be classified and some go out earlier than the others. Or we might want to maintain that it's fair Okay, so we want to maintain neutral so the treatment of all these packets will equal. 